Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through five different ways in which you can leverage ChatGPT to really enhance and boost your career and development within cybersecurity. Also, let me know if you guys enjoy this new lighting setup because I just got it set up uh, just to spice things up a little bit, but let me know what you guys think. But with that being said, with all the prompts that you see inside of this video, you know, feel free to add or edit any of them uh, to your liking. I'll leave a link to all the uh, prompts that I use in this video uh, that I've used personally in the description below so feel free to go ahead and download and check it out as well um, but with that being said in this video I'm gonna go into my computer and pretty much walk you guys through uh, and give you guys one example for each of these methods but with that being said let's go ahead and go into number one which is going to be using ChatGPT as a way to study for different certifications uh, within cybersecurity now as you may know a few months ago I used ChatGPT as a way to study for the security plus exam and it helped me pass so that kind of made me think about a couple of different ways in which you can really leverage ChatGPT to study for certifications. One of the main reasons why I really enjoy using ChatGPT to study is because as opposed to Google, you really have to dig through the answers and really find and uh, find an answer that really works for you. But for ChatGPT, you can use these different prompts and really customize them in order to make them more understandable for you. And also it goes straight to the point. So there's no digging involved when using ChatGPT. So let's go ahead and hop into my computer right now and I'll show you guys an example prompt that I use for myself when I'm studying for different certifications. To the inside of my computer right here, I have ChatGPT pulled up and I'm actually going to paste in my prompt that I have uh, in my document right now that you guys are more than welcome to check out. But what this prompt pretty much does is that it explains that I'm studying for the Security Plus exam and it says, I want you to act as if you were my tutor preparing me for the test. I'm going to ask you a bunch of different questions or concepts and I want your answers to include the following. A general overview of the concept and also what I might need to know about it for the Security Plus exam. Now these asterisks right here are places where you want to go ahead and just edit this and add your, your own certification that you're studying for. So it could be something like the Network Plus or the A Plus or anything like that. Um, and you guys can go ahead and just replace that right over here with these asterisks. So what I'm gonna do here is let's say I'm going to pretend to study for the Security Plus exam because I know probably a lot of you are gonna try and study for the Security Plus exam as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get rid of these real quick and just send this message to ChatGPT and it should give me this response saying that it's ready to pretty much take some input. So let's say, let's add in an example term. So let's say I'm studying for the Security Plus exam and I don't know what phishing is. So let's type in phishing in here. And as you guys, as you guys can see, it'll give me a paragraph uh, pretty much explaining what phishing is and it's really understandable and really clear. Um, if I were to use chat or sorry, Google, you'll have to probably dig through a couple different answers in order to find an answer that really makes sense. So in this case, it goes straight to the point and then also it gives you a couple different concepts that you might need to know in regards to phishing for the actual exam. So this is one of the reasons why I really enjoy using ChatGPT to study for different certifications is because you can customize your answer and even within one answer, it can give you a bunch of value. So that is pretty much how I would use ChatGPT to go ahead and study for my certifications. Um, in the document, I also include a couple different other prompts that I use in order to also um, study for certifications as well. So make sure you guys check that out. But with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to the next method. So method number two is going to be career clarity. I know for a lot of you guys out there and for myself personally, I'm someone who is relatively new to cybersecurity. And if you're not familiar with it, cybersecurity is a hugely, hugely uh, broad industry that includes so many different departments and different teams. And when you're first entering into cybersecurity, it can really kind of be intimidating on where to start or even what team that you think you'll fit on or be interested in. So this next prompt right here should be able to give you guys some insight on what kind of career path you wanna take when it comes to cybersecurity and what kind of jobs align with your interests the most. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, type in the career clarity prompt. Um, I also have a bunch of other prompts involving career clarity in the document as well. But let me go ahead and paste that in there and let's give it a read real quick. So I want ChatGPT to provide a high level overview of the different career routes within cybersecurity. 
for each of these possibilities provide an insight on their roles, responsibilities, future job outlook, potential salary earnings, and pros and cons. So this is going to list out every single role that might be involved in cybersecurity and their pros and cons to each of them. This way you can get an idea of what you think might fit best when it comes to a role in cybersecurity. I also have a couple other prompts um, in here as well that you can actually enter your skills and your interests and then from there it'll kind of uh, parse through your different roles in cybersecurity and recommend a role for you. So I'm actually going to paste that in there right now and show you guys um, how this one works. I really enjoy this one but from here it lists a couple different roles that you guys can check out and look further into or in research. Uh, you can also whenever you enter a prompt you can say expand on a certain role or expand on number five um, or give me more roles you can just say stuff like that and it'll also you know uh, output more roles for you so in addition to that one cool feature that i like to use in ChatGPT is let's say i don't know what security controls are you can actually highlight them highlight that word right there and put quotes over it click that little quote button and just say, what exactly is this? Or explain this to me in simple terms. And then you can press enter from there. And then from there, it'll explain to you, it'll know you exact, like know exactly what you're referring to because you quoted it. And then it'll give you a response. So that's another cool feature about ChatGPT that I think they recently implemented. So I'm gonna paste in this second prompt right here. So let's say I'm someone who can be described as outgoing, people-oriented, and quick learner. Uh, you can edit these uh, sort of adjectives as well um, and list entry-level cybersecurity jobs that would best align most with my values and why. Um, so as you can see right here, let's go ahead and hit uh, enter right here. And from there, you can see that it actually recommends a couple different roles that might fit my values and my sort of characteristics uh, the best. So that is also one interesting prompt that I would use for career clarity. You guys are more than welcome to check these out. But with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into number three on the list. So number three on the list is going to be using ChatGPT to teach you and create a study plan for learning technical skills. And this could really be any sort of skill that you want. So let's go ahead and hop back in and I'm going to type in this prompt right here that I have. So this is going to say, list the most popular entry-level cybersecurity job roles and provide a thorough overview of the technical skills like programming languages, specific softwares, and more that are needed for these roles and why. So this prompt is going to be really descriptive and it's going to show us exactly what kind of tools and languages you might need to know for a certain role. And one follow-up prompt, I love doing these follow-up prompts because it really digs it deeper. But for each of these roles, provide me with a high-level overview and study plan on how I can learn each of these technical skills. Be sure to include specific resources that can be used with hyperlinks. You can see from right here, it's going to give you names of these different courses and uh, sort of things that you need to know in order to build up and learn that skill at the end of the day. Now. In addition to this, you can also make it more descriptive when it comes to these study plans. Uh, I just had I just said study plan, which is kind of really broad in general. But let's say you wanted to make it uh, a little bit more descriptive. So let's say I want you to create a study plan for an eight week period um, and teach me exactly. I'll create a study plan for exactly what I would need to know. Include hyperlinks of these different courses that you recommend, uh, and things of that sort. So feel free to customize and keep editing uh, to make them fit you and your situation. So that is one of the uh, technical skill prompts that I have right here. Um, but let's move on to number four uh, on the list. So number four on the list is actually going to relate with the last video I made on this channel and it's going to be about preparing you for cybersecurity interviews. So I have this prompt right here. Let's paste it in there. It says I am currently preparing for an entry-level cybersecurity interview. Provide me all of the potential interview questions that I might be that I may be asked during my interview. Be sure to include questions that cover technical and behavioral interviews. Now for this prompt right here, feel free to edit what kind of interview you're going you're going into. So you could paste in the role, the job title of this role that you're interviewing for. You could paste in um, 
like what kind of interview questions that you want to run into, uh, feel free to edit that as well. So let's go ahead and hit enter right here. And right from there, you guys can see that there are several uh, technical and behavioral interview questions that ChatGPT uh, has listed for me. And one follow-up prompt that I enjoy using right here is gonna be, for each of these interview questions, provide me with an excellent interview answer. And that's gonna give you a template or a for sort of example response as to what kind of response would be really useful um, for you to say in an interview in order to be successful. So you guys can sort of use this as an answer key and learn from it as well. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. So the last one on the list is going to be using ChatGPT to edit and update your resume for a cybersecurity role. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in my prompt right over here. And it's going to say, let's make a new chat here. And it's going to say, I'm currently applying for a blank position at a cybersecurity company. Feel free to edit the type of company and edit the position that you're applying for. This is my current resume. You can paste your entire resume right over here. And I want you to optimize my resume for this role and include any recommendations, updates, or edits. And what ChatGPT is going to do is it's going to break down your entire resume, include any updates and recommendations in order to optimize your pe your potential and your possibility of getting an interview for a certain role at a cybersecurity or a really any company. So this is something that is really useful if you don't want someone to review your resume, but you don't necessarily have anyone to do that for you, or if you want to avoid paying someone to review your resume, this is going to be a great alternative for you. And it's really been helpful helpful for me as well uh, when making updates to my resume, adding different certifications to it, uh, and really optimizing my resume for potential roles. So with that said, those are the five different ways in which I leverage ChatGPT to really enhance my development and my career in cybersecurity. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and found some value from it. Please drop me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. We're on our way to 50,000, which is really exciting. Like I said before and throughout the video, feel free to make edits to these different prompts uh, so that it fits you and your situation the best. And also, if you guys want to check out these prompts, I'll leave a link in the description below. It'll take you directly to the document that I have these all saved in. But with that being said, though, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.